hope you don't believe all those silly stories about us. Oh! A real ghost! Gee, looks like that should sure make it hard for me to find a friend. play football.
Beautiful, friendly, friendly. Oh boy, that's for me. such things as ghosts. Mr. Scoutmaster, sir, can I be a scout? <laughs> Look who wants to be a scout.
to have him in our troop Cause he's a first class scout We really mean it Casper is a first class gentleman wins the money. It, just a minute, buddy. How about doubling your money? Okay. Now, which shell is the little ball under? Under this one. Wait, Jim. Try your hand at a game of pool. Make the eight ball in the side pocket, and you double your money. I'll bet my eight dollars. What's wrong, Chum? I think they're loaded. Without a stretch, there's an eighth of a while ago. Country gentleman is back in the race. Here he comes. The winner, country 
gentlemen! Gosh, I win! $3,232. Thanks for the tip, my friend. <laughs> Freeze for the sky! Mold the chip! Here's the $10,000 reward for trapping Mold the chip. Well, what do you know? Miss Cuddles, I trust you slept well. Just right for Milady. And does Milady wish to play as usual after breakfast? Meow. Very well. I shall fetch your favorite toy. beloved pet, Kitty Cuddles the Third, my estate shall go to my faithful butler, Snartly. What? Why, that's me! Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you Franz Schubert? The great composer? Dummkopf! Who was you expecting, maybe? Padrovsky? Every time I come back to finish my symphony, I'm interrupted. so you can finish your symphony. Ah, now that the silence is more quiet, I start to commence again. He's on crackers. Somebody stop that racket before my head blows off the top of my noodle. finish. Retrieve. Uh, 
What means retrieve? You dumb mutt, bring back the duck! A fish? You dope! I ought to send you to the dog pound! My gun! Here, Bush! I did not go to college to play football. Fido Beta Kappa and Summa Cum Laude. What's that? That means with highest honors. All right, big brain. I got a simple test for you. Retrieve this stick. Why, your stick is obsolete. Try mine, modern and scientific. OK, smarty, retrieve it. Well, retrieve it! Your stick is retrieved. Now, let's see what you've learned about being a watchdog. Sir, they do not call me Martin Canine for naught. If anything is stolen, I'll hold you responsible. Martin Canine. Just as I thought. Now to teach that smart aleck a lesson. You were clever, Raffles. But not clever enough for Scotland Yard. And now, sir, I shall give you a lesson in duck hunting. Bah! You can't hunt in this heavy fog. Ah, but in college, I've learned scientific methods. This tuning fork vibrates to the air disturbances created by ducks in flight. Observe the vibrations. They indicate a flock of ducks three miles away. They are now directly overhead. Shoot now! Ah, you and your education. According to meteorological statistics, each year 408 people are killed by lightning. We'd better hurry home, sir. Hey, why 
wise guy. Trying to kill yourself? Lightning never strikes twice in the same place. Beat it! He hasn't been wrong yet. Lightning struck twice in the same place. Hmm, I shall speak to my professor about that. Fried eggs better than nothing. <laughs> Fried chicken, after all. Oh, please, sir. You wouldn't eat poor little defenseless me, would you? goes for this phony wine. <laughs> oh my, what a great big juicy wine. All for little me. Yikes! Oh! 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 Oh!
did it. Why, itty bitty me, sir, but right over there is a nice big fat chicken. Now that's a chicken. to protect myself, you know. size of bugs, we could invade the insect world. You're great. All we need is some of the witch's magic pills. Just leave this to me. Oh, Casper, if you can get me some magic reducing pills, I'll stay home and try to lose this fat. Why, sure, Fatso. Here you are, Fatso. But be careful. The witch has said it was strong stuff. I'll go finish my book. Magic reducing pills. Good for only a few hours. Okay, Fatso, take a pill and see what happens. Perfect. Now for us. Little friend, come and get it. what you wanted the reducing pills for. Sure, and now we're off for a scare scoop in a new wild. What new world? The insect wild. Your book gave us the idea, and the pills you got them the rest. I hope they didn't finish all those pills. Lucky they left a few. <laughs> now to find those meanies and see if I can reason with them. I'm in a tunnel. <laughs> it's only a tomato can. I wonder which way they went. Oops. Shucks. I spilled a buttercup. Help! Help! Uh-oh! Help! Ghost! Only mean ghosts could make a snail go at that pace. <laughs> a ghost! What does call you? Sayonara! Ha! <laughs> a Japanese beetle! <laughs> Now to see what I can do to stop them. Oops! Hey, a ghost! Please, Mr. Ant, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Friendly ghost? Ha! Huh. Well, we certainly can't say that about the others. I know, fellas, and I'm here to try and stop them. Gosh, we hope you can. Then you'll have nothing to fear. Nothing but the will of the wisp. The will of the wisp? Yeah, he's fearful to look at. Can you tell me where to find him? He lives in the moon marsh, Casper. But remember, he's real scary. Thanks, fellas. I'll try not to be too scared. Moon marsh. If I want to stop the ghostly trio, I'll need someone who's scarier than they are. Mr. Will of the West. Who dares to awaken me at this unearthly time? Gosh, he must be asleep in that old log. Excuse me, Mr. Will-o'-the-Wisp, but I have a very important matter to discuss with you. Come in, come in. Golly, Mr. Will-o'-the-Wisp, I had no idea you'd look as you do. <laughs> well, what did you expect me to look like? A ghost? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you see, I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. But just listen to this. <laughs> Why, I'm supposed to be the scary one in the insect world. <laughs> there they go now, and it's time to put my plan into motion. Say, why don't you pick on someone your own size? Who said that? A friend of Will-o'-the-Wisp. Will-o'-the-Wisp? 
Who's he? Let him show his face. Sorry, he only shows his face at Moon Marsh. Well, let's find him. Will it a wisp? We're waiting for you. Come out, come out, wherever you want. What's that? <laughs> I am Will the Wisp. Let's grab him. I'll do more than let you get your hands on me. I'll get the real chummy, see? Get him out of me, fellas. Okay, fatso, just hold still. <laughs> now he's in me. <laughs> now he's in me. <laughs> he's here again. <laughs> We're back to normal size. And so am I. Shucks. Did he make us look like fools? Yeah. We were punching ourselves silly. I better get back before they do. Well, I see you boys decided to grow up after all. And uh, by the way, how was Insect Land? You and your books. <laughs>
that your luck has changed. Come on. Win yourself something worthwhile. A whole meal. A whole meal? Oh, why did I ever listen to you? Oh, boy. A half a buck. Give me a plate of beans. Hey, Jonah, come back. You're just getting started. You blew all your dough. You broke again. That'll be 50 cents. Number 13. But you're in luck. You just won yourself a free meal. Well, now are you convinced this is your lucky day? Look, Jonah. A chance to win a hundred bucks. Can't you understand? I'm no gambling man. Honey, you just won yourself a hundred dollars. Wow! This is your lucky day. Continuous gambling 24 hours a day. Faro, chuck a luck, blackjack, bingo, pitching pennies. Jonah! Here's your chance to run that hundred bucks up into some real dough. He's going in. Just my luck. A penny for gum, and all I got is this. Uh, um, they'd be glad to change that C note in Lucky Louie's. They will? Sixteen on the red wheel. If you pick the high card, you 
and win 10 to 1. But if you pick the ace, it's 20 to 1. Have you changed your... 20 to 1. What a steal. Bet 100 bucks. 100 bucks? The man bets 100 bucks. The house has the jack of spades. Okay, mister. Pick your card. <laughs> and ace. The man wins $2,000. Play it all on the next card. No siree. I'm going to quit while I'm ahead. You can't quit now. My money! The winner is 13. Let it ride. He's 13 again. This time I am quitting. You can't walk out on a winning streak. Here's a game they play, strictly for laughs, called the um, uh, dominoes. Dominoes? How do you play that? Here, I'll show you. Just take these uh, dominoes, shake them, then roll them down the table. The man rolls in 11. 11? What does that mean? That means you get another roll. Seven. Mister, you just broke the bank. <laughs> I got enough here to retire for the rest of my life. And nobody walks out on Lucky Louie without giving him just one more chance. My joint against all your dough. Winner take all. But we're, we're winner to take all? Take the bet. This is the break that comes once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime? You got yourself a bet, Lucky Louie. What do you pick, chum? Odds or evens? No, uh, let me see. Uh, odds or evens? I'll take odds. Uh-uh. No? Pal, have I ever stand you wrong? No. Take evens. I take evens. Oh, great wheel of fortune. Don't let me down. I won! I won! Odds, you lose. Well, pal, <laughs> you can't win them all. Jeez, what a sore loser. Listen, chum, here's your chance to run that thin dime up into a fat fortune.
god. Oh, Daddy! You have to scratch for your food. first start thinking you were a chicken. Ha <laughs> ha 
Mr. Zebra. My name's Casper. How would you like to... Gosh, some animals are so sensitive. I sure wish I could get rid of the cold. into a peck of trouble. Yeah, Casper. Nobody wants to be... Golly, we've got to figure out a way to stop your sneezing. Do you really think you can? This ought to do the trick. making you sneeze, Wheezy. Hooray! I'm never going to sneeze again! I'm never going to sneeze again! I'm never going to sneeze again! I sure was lucky to meet you, Casper. Look, Wheezy! Sneeze and blow out that fire. I can't do it, Casper. A feather. That's it. Wheezy. <laughs> 